Today is the time to get to know a brand new golf ball. It's also time to test some golf balls. So I have what I would like to call the master of R&D, the Callaway <laughs> golf balls, Mr. Eric Loper. So we have three new golf balls to talk about. We have Chrome Tour X, we have Chrome Soft, and we have Chrome Tour. There's a lot to talk about. There's so much that's gone into uh, these three new products. Um, they're basically completely re-engineered from the core to the paint system, okay. uh, really seeking the golf ball to be better right. uh, everywhere. And already, right? and already good golf ball. And already good golf ball, great golf ball. Yeah. Make okay. it even better. And, and, for, and our goal was to really make it better everywhere, not just one specific area. Okay. And so and that's based on tour insights and pulling those insights into our challenge to make the best ball in the world. So let's start with Chrome Soft. The Chrome Soft, uh, we still have a Chrome Soft, which right. is good. Um, this golf ball is going to be faster than the prior model. It has a softer cover, so it's gonna check more around the green. Okay. And it also has a new surface geometry. Okay. Uh, which is which gives it more distance. That's you know, anywhere between four and six yards off the tee versus our old product and versus key competitors. And what about into the wind? Now, since this ball doesn't curve a lot, is it gonna have the wind properties? Like is it gonna be as stable into the wind as these tour golf balls, or is it is it living in a different bucket? It's gonna have the stability that uh, is incorporated into our tour product. Got it, okay. Okay, so let's get into the Chrome Tour now, which is a completely different platform. Yeah. Uh, so, let's talk about that one. So we have the Chrome Tour. Uh, this does replace the Chrome Soft XLS. Okay. Uh, so if you're an LS player, then you wanna go right into the Chrome Tour. Uh, the differences here are this ball, golf ball is going to feel softer. Softer cover is going to give you more consistency and more wedge spin into and around the green. Uh, same, same ball speed. We have a new uh, core technology, hyper fast soft core, okay. uh, that enabled us to maintain speed yet make the golf ball feel slightly softer. And for players that are high spin players, that ball, which tend to launch it lower, that ball launched a little higher with a little less spin. A little less spin. Okay, correct. same things apply to this one. That's correct. Right, so now we're going to go to Chrome Tour X which I'm a big Chrome Soft X guy. I've been playing it for a long time, yeah. but very excited about the, the tour testing that's going on with this ball. People were kind of ranting and raving about this one yeah. on tour. A lot of it's about the green side control uh, on an already great golf ball around the greens, but this one seems to be even, even better. Yeah, so the, the Chrome Soft X is our most used golf ball on the tours. Right. And uh, we use that as our platform. We incorporated more ball speed okay. with the hyper fast soft core quite a bit more. And then we also incorporated a softer cover, a lot softer cover, to make sure that that engagement into and around the green is solid engagement, so you get more spin, and then you get more spin consistency. So we're actually gonna hit some shots here. We're gonna hit a few shots with each. We're actually gonna start with Chrome Soft X. Yeah. Just to, just to draw a baseline, uh, and then just see what happens. So it's always fun to do these videos with somebody like Eric by my side, but uh, we're gonna hit some shots. Ball testing time, you just got a full tutorial on Chrome Tour and Chrome Tour X and Chrome Soft, so. Uh, let's see how these balls fly. Here we go. We got Chrome Soft X. We got the good, good Chrome Soft X. That's what okay. I've been playing. You know, it's yeah. the popular thing to do. We got about 165 yard shot here. Uh, we're at number two at the farms. And uh, I'm just going to hit some shots. So like this would be, you know, it's a little downwind. So it's kind of a stock eight iron. Stock eight, okay. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, a little pulley. Okay, so good numbers on that one. 7,700 spin, which is good for an eight iron. 21 launch, 154 carry. Once again, stock stock eight iron for me is 155, 160. So okay. that's about right. Those are normal numbers. So that's what to be expected. So let's hit a couple more. I'm give a, give this a little yeah, clean here. Eric's big big on consistency. Yes. Precision. Precision, precision technology, making sure everything everything's controlled. Once again, I'm not trying to rip these. I'm just trying to get them out there. Okay, that was like a seven out of 10 strike. Not great. 111, 7,300 spin, 149 carry. Okay. And that was a miss hit. So that was a little bit out of the toe. Yeah. And this one I'll probably maybe try to hit it a little harder. Okay, right at it. Oh! 78, 24. Okay, so 111, 149, 78, 24. It's a little misleading too because we're a little bit downhill downwind. Yeah. Okay, let's find some Chrome Tour X. Let's go Chrome Tour X. Chrome Tour X is your straight up tour golf ball spins long. It, it's good fast. It's, it's the highest compression. 
It, it's going to feel great around the green for the player that's seeking more click, coupled with a soft cover. Got it. More workable. Okay. Um, coupled with a, 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 a dimple pattern that helps knock down that lift that's associated with that additional spin. Okay. So it gives them that penetrating ball flight and makes sure it ensures that that ball is in that flight window. While maintaining spin. While maintaining spin. That's which is the key on tour. Yeah. Okay. So I have in my mind, and this is a good thing to know when you're testing golf balls, because it's testing golf balls is never something you really like when you go get fit for clubs, you go yeah. get your clubs and you kind of pick a golf ball. And but when you're testing golf balls, you always want to go from the green back. But if you're in a situation like this where you're comparing one ball to the next, the things you want to think about, is it flying out of the right window and how does it feel off the face? Can, yeah. Is it responsive? Can you attach yourself to it? It's a big thing, that's kind of how I say it. Like, can I attach myself to that golf ball the way it feels and sounds, right? So that's one of the things I loved about Chrome Soft X. The average on the Chrome Soft X was about 7,700. 7,700. So what I would like to be able to do is if I can pick up three or 400 RPMs of spin, That'd be great. At the same yard, if, it, if I'm getting the same carry and slightly more ball speed with three or 400 RPMs of spin, then that means I can take less off and still maintain my spin. That's yeah. how I look at it. So when I really don't want to hit it hard, my spin numbers are going to be a little still bit still high. Yes. So you can hold the green. Yes. OK, let's hit a couple of this. Holy mother. This ball flies. But that was a noticeable difference in the air. Like that ball had some, Yeah. that ball had something on it. Same thing, a little pulley, but I want to see this. Come on. Okay, ball speed uptick. Spin was this, so it's, okay. Yeah, 76. So, so this is interesting. 19 and a half launch, 115 ball speed, which for me an eight iron, that's pretty good. Like yeah. if I can get like out of a seven iron, this is, at th this is at 37 degrees on an eight iron. So for me, if I'm getting that ball speed, didn't flush it. 156 carry at 7,600 spin. I'm already noticing a difference. That's after two shots. But what I'm seeing, and this is what for the folks at home you can pick up on, I'm seeing it in the air. Yeah. This ball is getting up into its apex fast. Yeah. That's what the tour player is going to look for first is what is what is the flaw, uh, the ball flight doing? Is it is it in the flight window or not? Right. <clears throat> that was that was like a nine out of ten strike. Well struck. 116 ball speed, 8,000 spin, yeah. 157 carry, 21 launch. Like that's 8,100. Yeah. So for the same strike with Chrome Soft X, I got 115, 7,600. Yeah. And 154 carry. Yeah. Okay. So we know that this one's the ball speed, which is supposed to be with a driver, but I'm a, a, maybe a mile and a half faster with this ball. Yeah. Strike to strike. Yeah, and I think that for the for the tour players, they're most, mostly focused on ball speed with their driver. Yes. Uh, so it's a matter of coupling ball speed with spin rates to make sure you're still hitting your distances. Okay. So good ball flight on that shot there. You're seeing anywhere between three and f 400 RPM yeah. over the Chrome Soft X. That's what we would expect. Okay. It felt just as soft as yeah. Chrome Soft X did. Which I think- Off the face. When we do the driver test is good because when we show that there's more ball speed, yeah. the ball's not harder to right. get the same ball speed. So similar feel here, softer cover, Usually it's going to translate into softer feel when you get into those shots around the green. A little nuance, a little, yeah, okay, you start I getting that you. little, that okay. zipper. So now we're into Chrome Tour. Who's it for? The Chrome Tour is going to be for uh, the better player that's seeking a, a golf ball that feels slightly softer than like the firmest Tour golf balls, right. definitely in the Tour space, uh, seeking a little less spin. Okay. So they could be looking for less spin because they want more distance out of the ball or they could be seeking lower spin with their irons because they spin the ball too much. When they're losing distance, they're losing performance. That's right. Okay. That was solid. Boy, these things get up fast. 117, 160, 68, there it is right on cue, 68, 75 spin. So yeah. I had a, about a 500, 600 RPM dip in spin. Yeah. And it launched higher. Yeah. Which is exactly what it's supposed to do. That's what it's designed to do. Got it, okay. It's gonna launch higher. It's going to have less spin, and it's coupled with a pattern that is, uh, which matches well with that low spin. So you're able to hold the greens and, and really maximize distance. Okay. So you, like that was cool. Like to me, like, yeah. like that that was cool. I liked. I mean, I, the spin's a little low for my liking, but yeah. just in the air, yeah, it ball had like kind of a rocket booster. It got up to its apex really fast. Yeah. Okay. And that, that I think just visually that one was probably the longest because of that lower spin. Right. I want to see where this ends up because I hit that. That was like a common miss for me. That was center thin, a little picky. That was wild. Hold on. 
That's awesome. 6,600 spin, 157 carry, 114 ball speed. And that yeah. to me was my miss. On yeah. the golf course, that's my miss. Yeah. Like that's, that's that was amazing. Okay, so good to know. Like, is this golf ball for me? With an eight iron, quite probably not. Yeah. I think the X is probably better for me, but, um, but nice to know that I have, I would call this ball more forgiving for me, my yeah. game, than X would be on the yeah. miss probably. I, I can see just based on your, your launch numbers, this ball will actually be longer for you with your irons, which you may not be looking for. I'm not. You're looking to make yeah. sure you have consistent gapping. So I, the, the, but some players are looking for more distance with their irons, which would and be that's great. a good option. Yeah, yeah. It, which is awesome. See, for me at 46 years old, I, I, my seven iron goes 170, eight irons 155. Yeah. I guess that's what I needed to go. Yeah. Any, anything more than that, I don't even know what I'm doing myself. Okay, Chrome Soft. Who's it for? Chrome Soft. So all three golf balls have urethane covers. Okay. They're all designed to give players great control around the green. The Chrome Soft is going to be for the aspirational golfer looking for a more forgiving product. Okay, your normal, your normal golfer. Yes. Ten handicap, fifteen handicap, could be even a five handicap. Somebody looking yep. just to have a, a good time. Yes, okay. absolutely. And it's going to be, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be long off the tee. It's going to give you control and soft feel around the green. Okay. What I'm looking for here, honestly, is like I just want to see it. I want to check the ball speed. And I just want to see how, how straight it flies. One thing I always loved about Chrome Soft, like why I give it to my dad and my uncles, they like it because they hit it online and it stays online. Yeah. It doesn't curve. Right, so you guys that you know maybe tend to slice it a little bit. I don't want to say it's a slice killer, but for people that are better players that tend to cut it or have a problem with overcutting and over hooking it, yeah, that ball was kind of hung in there, really, really well, and it gave them everything they wanted. Around it's going to minimize your dispersion. Yeah, it's, it's, there's lower spin. So, so based on what you're seeing out there and how I'm hitting it, this should go. One of these should go in the hole. That's kind of what you're telling me. Okay, <laughs> or, or over the green. Over the green. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. That was like a seven out of 10 strike. I just went, look at how straight that thing flies. That was like a little out of the toe. 6,800 spin. So one of the things with Chrome Soft, where it gets a lot, a little bit of forgiveness is it doesn't spin. Yeah. I would say of the three balls, it probably sits between Tour and Tour X as far as the spin profile, wouldn't you say? It, Actually, it, in the air. In the air. So I, from a spin perspective, the, the Chrome Soft will be the lowest of the three. Okay. So it's really Chrome Soft is the lowest spin, then Chrome Tour, and then, then Chrome Tour soft. X. And then when you think about like forgiveness and workability, you know, they kind of hand in hand. Gotcha. Is the Chrome Tour X will be the most workable, and the Chrome Soft will be the most forgiving. This lands. I don't know. This is a good, this is a good ball, 160. I've always kind of looked at golf balls the same way. Obviously, my priority is always around the greens, but with irons, I love to see how it curves or doesn't curve when I miss hit it. Yeah. So if I wipe it, how much is it going that way? Yeah. If I hit it thin, because my miss, usually I hit kind of a big hook, but you know, my miss is kind of like a blocky kind of open face. And it, sometimes the ball can get, if it spins a lot, the ball can get out of control. Yeah. This one does not. Like, I feel like I'm saving myself about 10 feet left yeah. to right with this thing, which is saying a lot. What's your what's your go-to shot shape? Uh, actually, kind of a hook, a little bit right to left. Okay. You know the, the Chrome Soft. I mean, it's been an excellent product for us over the last seven years. Yeah. Uh, because it performs and it's uh, it has a good combination of speed and feel. That was fun. Yeah. That was a complete nerd That's out. That's awesome. I appreciate it. <laughs> nerd uh, out. <laughs> so some of these videos get a little bit longer winded than most, but this is the most important part of your golf bag is the golf ball. Like I can't emphasize that enough. So when these guys are going into the lab and they come up with something new, it's going to have a direct impact on your bag. So we're building bags around the golf ball, not the other way around. So there's a lot of nuggets in there. It's a great video. Like one of the videos that I would definitely watch on my own if I had to watch myself hit golf balls. These are the ones that kind of get my, uh, get my attention the most. So I want to thank Eric Loper from uh, Callaway R&D for all of his expertise. Uh, more content to come on the golf ball, but if you have any questions, go to the World of Wonder website, callawaygolf.com. More to come from the tee right out of here.